Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Mandate of Heaven DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Cao Cao. So, in the uh, last episode, Xiao Yuan managed to fight himself out of a rather sticky spot, but his army is a touch battered because of that. However, they've acquitted themselves quite well, and because of their violence and everything else in this area they have managed to destroy several armies belonging to the yellow turbans meaning we just have this one left to deal with in what was formerly the yellow turban territory we now hold most of their land they still have a cruise ship of men knocking about here uh, i don't know what they intend to do to be honest um yeah we'll see and we've smashed some rebellions about the place really um next thing to do is to try and uh, sort out our finances a touch deal with some of this fervor and uh, prepare for gongdu because here we go this is gongdu he is apart from myself and lil bay who's this brown uh, chap that sort of is, is everywhere on the map. Um, we're the three biggest. Now, Liu Bei is very split up. Um, and so, I'm not sure how he'd survive a direct attack. But Gongdu, as you can see, is a pretty unified entity. He's going to be a tough one. He is, however, at war with the world, which will make things a little bit more easy for me. Right, next turn. Hmm. Uh, Yellow Turbans is trying to come back. Or is he going to run off and try and take this? He is welcome to take that if he wants. If they have the money to settle that, I'll happily march an army in. Um, and take it for myself straight after. No problem whatsoever. Bian Zhang has died and been replaced by Shi An Xiu. Fair enough. Uh, war, an exquisite weapon again. Fantastic. Rebellion in Yujiang. Rebellion in Jian'an. Rebellion in Kuai Ji. Right. Advance Li Xianji Xu. Nope. Nope. Lu Ling is suffering as well, and we have an heirloom spear that could actually be useful. We have some people who might be able to use that. Uh, no, actually, just sit there. Wait, let's let's let that build up. Right, you rebelling up there is a major frustration. Right, you're gonna go and deal with those in a turn. Hmm, sort of. Uh. There is a temptation to recruit another general um, and let Xu Xu deal with that, but I'd rather have Xu Xu on the front lines. I think what I will do for expediency is say, head up there. It'll take three turns, which is fine, because that will mean that uh, public order will have increased hugely. Um, how are we doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Do I want the extra food? <clears throat> no, I want coastal trading post, actually. Um, right. Are you going to come back for some more? You'd be mad to. Just in case you sit yourself there. Ta -ta. Keep chasing him. Encourage him. To go and take Nanhai Town. And do we have any issues here or is it a level up? Oh, I have so many generals and so many family members. Whoa. Ah, yes, you are someone relatively new, aren't you? Um, yeah, Fire Arrows Night Battles, fantastic. Now, 
I have a nice shiny spear. No, you have something quite interesting anyway. Uh, where are you? Hong Z. You're going to lose some resolve, but I think we can make up for that in other ways. Do you know, I'd rather you had that. Um, nothing there, and you have one of those. No, we are good. We are good. <clears throat> um, anything else that we can do to give me a better chance? Right, Hansway Martang. Now, I was working you guys over so that you absolutely love me. Uh, any chance of that? Yeah, didn't think so. Um, but... I want you to love me. Attitude is positive. It is trending downwards, however. Right. Love me more. And... Love me more. And the reason for this is because when our alliance eventually breaks up, because it's going to have to, me and Liu Bei are the two biggest in that alliance, we're probably going to be the first ones to go down the Emperor route, then, um, yeah, I need to have friends elsewhere. You're trending down as well, but it's still relatively high. <clears throat> so I would like Ma Tung and Han Sui to help me, because they're in a relatively safe position. Uh, as long as those two stay friends with each other, I have potential for a decent coalition, alliance, whatever, with two moderately powerful allies, not powerful enough to threaten me in any way, potential for them to become my vassal as well. Uh, no, 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 not going to happen. Wrong one. Um, Liu Biao... Oh, you've done well, actually, to to stay alive. Somewhat impressed with you. You... You are relatively friendly with them? Mm, no, I don't think so. No, non-aggression pack's not going to happen. Peace. Yellow turbans, no need. Does anybody need some food that I can quickly sell? Uh, yeah, you do. Have a touch of food. There we go. And give me some money. So I can continue to field my armies. Actually, I should probably spend this on um, economic upgrades. I have been bad at that. Ah. Uh, This is somewhat disappointing, I have to say. No, not you. You are being fed. You can sod off. You are being fed. You have no money. You are being fed. You are being fed. I believe I'm feeding everyone I can feed. You're an incompetent leader, but you have zero, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you guys are doing alright. You're very poor, so you can starve. I don't like it when they're poor or very poor. You're rich, that's fantastic news. Yeah, you could do with some food. Just a touch though. There we go. Because you're friends with Ma Tung. And so if I do a deal with you, then Martin will be friendlier with me. And I only risk upsetting Yuan Shao. Uh, I mean, Zhang Yan's quite powerful, actually. A little bit more, please. There we go. And 27, that'll do. Gong Du, you properly dislike me right now. Uh, that's fine. Yuan Shu, Lu Bu. No, Yuan Shao is fine. You're very poor anyway, and you are fine. Okie dokie. A little bit more money. How are we on the old Duke front? We're still a chunk away. Okay. Okay. That's not not ideal. Um, now. Uh, 
this will reduce further further so we're going to go for that Lu Ling is going to have a problem so you head up there um, now I think for Lu Ling one of the things we could do is get more food in it's more food and more money and it's not too expensive there we go okay that's nice. Now, do we have anything that does public order? Or reduce fervor or the like? Uh, satisfaction for commanders, assignments. I don't need that. Um, cavalry unit reduction is quite good. I do like my cavalry. Mustering terms, no need. Military supplies, no. Don't need that. Satisfaction for champions, population growth might be quite useful. Income from peasantry, certainly very useful. Food, food, replenishment, food, food, food. Lots of income. I really should just start nailing it down this way. Um, building upkeep isn't an issue for me. Trade influence, potentially nice, but doesn't really matter. Let's do this one because it opens up more. Oh, yes, okay. We shall head down that route. Uh, all right, X10. Yes, Lu Ling has kicked off. I suppose Yen uh, Ren Yan Rei has uh, managed to actually survive there. She keeps wanting to join the coalition. She was having real trouble with yellow turbans. She ended up taking Chen. Um, but everyone hates her. Yeah, they march on Luling straight away, as I thought. Okay. Um. Here's the question: Can I make it so at least I'm in reinforcement range? I can. That's good. That's very good. Right, rebellion's kicked off. We know about that. Character development, Bian Qing is not necessary. Okay. You coming? You're not coming. I'm going to sit there. Uh, ta ta. You keep on advancing. Hopefully, they are going to take Nanhai. That would be such good news. Really, such good news. Seven turns. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Guess who's here? <laughs> yep. Um, how are we doing? You know what? Just let him build up. Let him build. Let him build. And Tang. Let's remove this person's stomach. There he goes. Oh, brilliant. And we shall take that. Fantastic. Fall back. Good. Okie dokie. Now, um, can we upgrade anything else? Uh, that's upgrading. That's okay. Nope. Nope. Doesn't seem to be the case, so let's throw some into that instead. Um, how are we doing here? Further is increasing a little bit, that's unfortunate, but uh, I'm sure Shoot You can deal with anyone who shows up there. Do 
lot, a lot of fervor still around here, but they seem to have settled it in the center. No, it doesn't look like you are going for the town. That's a shame. I don't have 8,000 to throw at it. And the Black Mountain is still very yellow turbany. Ah. Xiao Yuan has had a son. Well, Cao Jie Yuan has had a son, but uh, yeah, fantastic. Yang Wei is fiery. There's a surprise. And rebellion imminent in Tong An. Yeah. Okay. We shall deal with that without much of an effort. You do not besiege my territories. You do not. Thank you. It just isn't on. Um, now why is this place further? You have a Confucian temple. This is the problem. So let's get rid of you. We don't need you anymore. Um, you can start to shift back this way. How are we doing here? Keep on keeping on then. Yeah. We need to upgrade that place though. Tongan will kick off. So. If. Uh, uh, come on. I clicked on that. There we go. If Cao Cao can uh, rush back. We should be fine. You're sitting in Nanhai. They will be upset all the time. Because we do not have the whole uh, commandery. Which is. A frustration but it is what it is we can live with it now um oh there we go let's take this chap out close victory i say we're not gonna have a fight in a second let's do this thing I think this is the army with Cao Hong. So even though it is not the Cao Hong, I would like to think it is the Cao Hong because the Cao Hong isn't in the game, unfortunately. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I think I've said it before. I do find it. Th this game has the scope to have so many generals, right? And so you obviously can't expect them to have everyone. But I think they have focused their efforts in many ways on a lot of uh, special troops for Liu Bei's faction, basically, um, because of course he is the darling of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, rather than include some quite important people or give proper weighting to some quite important people in other factions. So uh, if you look at the time it took them to give Huang Gai uh, this proper artwork and literary status, or Guo Jia, or Shen Yu, um, or, you know, just things like that, really. Um, where, by like for uh, Liu Bei's faction, they already had the majority of his famous people already with um, unique artwork. And Cao Ren, still, despite his importance to uh, Cao Cao, doesn't have his own unique artwork. I just find it a little bit disappointing. Right. Let's pop one of you here. Pop one of you here. Because um, I can. Uh, should they wish to do something crazy right they have towers towers are annoying they have spears spears are equally annoying cavalry sneak through the woods please um, they have archers archers are frustration any of you chaps fancy a duel? You're all out of range, but you might fancy a duel. How are you at hitting? P. 
piss weak. Yeah, I'll do this. Let's, uh, let's do you. Hey, I'm going to duel. Stop your arch fire. That's cheating. And we have charge resistance. Unfortunately, nothing else. Oh, we took that first hit hard. Come on. Show yourself off. You are a new recruit. I think, I can't remember exactly where you came from. I think you were uh, a, um, like, man of renown or someone who, who uh, came at my call to encourage officers to join me. So, uh, this is your first outing. Prove yourself. Prove worthy of my trust. Anyway, how's that cavalry doing? Yeah, we're there. We're there. Come on. Keep swinging around that way. And you know what? If you can beat this chap, I might let you have a go at the second one as well. None so far, so yeah. <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah, you don't have anything nice. And who's this? Ah, uh, Xiao Yuan's wife. Well, we better win, because if she dies, he'll be unhappy, and he has fought in some of my most spectacular battles. He has won against the odds more than anyone else. Actually, he's been brilliant. Oh, yes. Good lad, Hong Zixia. Good lad, indeed. Come on. Out you come. I'm feeling confident. Bring it. <laughs> Here he goes. Here he goes. That's a good opening hit. This person doesn't exactly hit very hard either. How are we? How are we? Are we good? They're already thinking about running because they're peasant spearmen. That's what we like to see. Are they all peasant? Redeeming outlaws. Nah, they're not all peasants. That's unfortunate. They do have some proper soldiers there. Come on, you've got them. You've got them. Right, I think we need to prepare. So... You boys first. You boys behind. Ta Hong to lead them. Uh, yeah, there we go. When that chap dies, we advance. Come on. Come on. You've got him, Hong Zixia. You've got him. Was he lay meaty? That was pathetic. Smack him properly. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Don't let him hit you. Maybe he's gonna block this. Oh, he's fighting back. Oh, he's dead. Go, 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 go. Forget your horse. Go! They won't stand. You could be a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Run, run, run. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, and he cleaves his way through, and they start wavering on impact. And there is Sao Hong to help on horseback. And they've started to run already. They've started to run already. Come on, lads. In you get. In you get. Let's bring this cavalry in behind. Wow, just the two generals on their own. Come on. Go, 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 go. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Charge. Go, go, go. In the back. 
Rush them, boys. Rush them. Arrows coming in. Right. Don't let your sibling have all the fun. Get in there. Get in there. Rock up. Brilliant. The slaughter begins. Cav, well done, boys. Get out of that fight. We're going to need you for some more cycle charges. Uh, actually, we need you to just avoid their peasant spearmen for a second. Come through the tents. Come up behind. Go on. Get stuck in. Get stuck in. Brilliant job. Brilliant job. Hong Zixia proving why he is a man of renown. Impressed. Impressed. I know they were level one peasants, basically, but uh, still, he absolutely wiped the floor with them. Nicely done. Nicely done. Money for the coffers. You strike a pose. They, for reasons we don't quite understand, manage to survive. Scare. Oh, yes. We have no followers, unfortunately. But, yes, scare is good. Finish the job. Nicely done. Job finished. Sit back in Luling. Don't let them rebel. That's how this is going to work. Uh, assignments. So, uh, which commanderies have I got that are kicking off the most? Jian An is a problem, isn't it? Uh, Fever is quite high there. Fever is quite high there. I have no Fever in Jian yet to speak of. Dong O. This place. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Deal with them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now. No, 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 no. Kwai Ji. You can sit and wait for a bit. You can sit and wait for a bit. Don't know. <laughs> hmm. A little bit of fervor, but we got that under control. You're shifting back. Um. Yeah. There we go. Spend the money there. Right. <clears throat> Sit back and watch and see where it kicks off now. They hate you. Stop asking. They hate you. We've been through it so many times. Sort of wish someone would destroy her. <sighs> hmm. Ooh. Zhang Fei has got a fight on his hands there. Wow. Lu Bu is destroyed yet again. And Yue Jin! Fantastic. Yue Jin and Cao Xiangyan have a daughter. Brothers in arms, Cao Ang and Cao Luan. Two brothers, their bonds forge in war and strength by strife, sit around a campfire in the dimming light of the evening. They share tales of glory and memories of friends long gone. Their smiles are wistful and their thoughts bittersweet, but they are glad above all to have one another for support. Brilliant. They're friendly. Tong An has rebelled. That's fine. Uh, nope. Right. Tong An has rebelled, uh, which is all good because... Cao Cao is on the warpath anyway. Um, you can sit there. That's absolutely fine. I... How are we feeling now? How are we feeling? 
I think we're feeling they can die. And Dian Wei wins again. Money. Sit back there. Uh, Huai Ji, yes, we're going to lose you because that creates issues. Now, uh, Jianan, we removed that. I think we can head for grain storage. That will solve some of the issues for you, I believe. That should not further down a peg. Let's double check. I don't have any other ones of those. What's a military building do in the case of further? That helps. <clears throat> we could throw some military buildings about. Um, quite if I get rid of that, it's going to help. All right. Yeah. I think we've got that under control then. Who has leveled up here? Lady Bien. I'll have that. There we go. And yes, just you to deal with. But we are looking pretty secure. Little bit of consolidation, little bit of rebel smacking there for you. Um, Liu Bei has launched a crusade, it seems, with a pathetic army. What on earth are you doing down there? Anyway, we shall see what he's doing next turn because that's that's a long way away. Um, and uh, we will continue, I think, for a little while, uh, just to try and build up our economy, prepare our armies um, for the invasion of Gongdu. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this, please feel free to like and subscribe. Comments, always love hearing from you. Um, it means such a lot as well when I get feedback. And yes, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.